Yo, what's going on, you guys? Tavis here. Today, we're going to be talking about drive rushes and how you can have better drive rushes than your friends, bro. This simple trick is going to increase your drive rushes. And I know I sound like the freaking ads, bro. I hate when they do that, but I just ended up saying it anyways. But let's get into the video, bro. Let's do it. Drive rush is initiated in one of two ways. Either when you're not in range to hit someone or you do it off of a hit. And the way you do it, both of them is you do parry and then you double tap forward. That is how you get a drive rush to come out. And if you do it during an attack, you press an attack and when the attack connects you double tap forward so it's pretty simple pretty standard pretty standard stuff there is an easier way to do it instead of doing parry forward forward you just do forward and forward plus parry so if you do it in succession it gives you this and i'm pretty sure you guys can see the difference as opposed to this right it's a very slight difference but when you get used to seeing it you will notice it this method is becoming more and more reactable as people are playing the betas and the demo there's even a little slight effect difference you see how when you activate parry there's this blue ring around the character so that can be a tell you do this you can see that and you'll know that someone's doing it because they see this blue flash and that you're about to go in especially if someone does it late like that right so that's huge. Someone sees that, they hit you, they lead into their combo, they do damage, they kill you, bro, right? It basically makes your parry come out of frame one. This is definitely a technique that you wanna learn and that you need to learn if you wanna be ahead of people that don't know about this. Take a look at the drive gauge right here, right? I'm gonna do parry forward forward. Now look at how much meter drain. It dips a little bit into the second bar of your drive gauge. If you do the new tech, it doesn't dip into your second bar. It's gonna give you a tiny bit more drive meter. I'm gonna show you guys another little drive rush trick that you guys can actually do that was also recently discovered. If you guys have ever had problems with your drive rushes and say you're doing a drive rush in a combo, right? And you do this, and for some reason you can't seem to make the next hit combo no matter what, you can actually just hold the button down. Hold the button down. It's kind of hard to show. Look at the difference in my commands on the left side as for me timing and me holding. So that's me timing, right? Let's see, now I'm gonna hold it. Literally, as soon as your drive rush starts, you just hold down the next button. And this works for any button. It could be lights, medium. I'm holding that down way before he does the crouch medium punch. But it has to be when your drive is initiated, when your rush comes out. I held it. So this little technique is going to make your drive rush follow-ups a lot easier. But anyways, it's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. More videos like this are coming. Look forward to those. And if this video found you helpful, dang, I sound like Ruben Longer. And if this video helps, let me know, bro. It's been Tavius, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.